Hello, this is my uh, Cyberdeck uh, TechMate KH80, is what I'm calling it. Um, it was made out of a Hitachi 5-inch uh, black and white TV, portable TV from the 1980s. Uh, So this is a, a full computer. It's not really portable other than the fact that you can unplug it and pick it up. Um, but it cannot run without uh, without power. It has a, a folding keyboard. It folds down, folds open. On the front we have one USB port. Uh, there was another USB port behind the, the tuning dial, but it had to be used for something internal. So I just press fit this in here now so I can pop it out later and, and use it for something else. The contrast and the brightness knobs do nothing at this point in time. They're just uh, hot glued in there for future use if I wanted to. Um, but the on off volume switch at least works for on and off of the computer. Um, the volume may come later. I have to look into how Windows handles this. This runs Windows 10, how it handles that over an HID device. But we can turn it on and it will boot up. Unfortunately, can't change anything with the screen. And as you can see, it quick to boot, runs a full Windows. And here we are. Uh, the small screen here is a WaveShare 5.5 inch M M OLED screen. Um, it's actually running off of a USB adapter, which is why that USB port was needed. The main screen is just a little 10 inch HDMI screen I found on online. Uh, as you see, it loads up and it's booting into a EDEX UI, just as something you know, something to load up into. And I'm running in Windows Sub Linux on this. So I'm actually running a true uh, uh, a true bash shell on this. Um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to use the small screen yet. I mean, it is connected up. You can move things around to it. That was a quick little neo fetch. So yeah, this is a little computer. It's running an ITX motherboard, a little uh, 170Z press or uh, chipset, running an 8th gen, at least I think it's an 8th gen, the, sorry, 6th gen, 6th gen CPU, 6700K, uh, and has an FX500 power supply, power supply sits right up here at the top. Motherboard sits underneath, you can see I've got my little neon green glow. Through all the fan holes I can get, there's actually a fan down here at the bottom pushing air in from the bottom, and this hopefully will harsh air out. It actually seems to run pretty well, um, like this. I haven't had any hit, hit heat marks, and you can see. Sorry for the finger. Sorry for the rotating camera. That doesn't quite work, does, does it? It's your standard, you know. Um, yeah, X. Sorry, ATX motherboard backplate. Uh, I did print a little cover just to kind of blend it in a little bit. Uh, and that's what the cable is. This is the Wi-Fi cable going up to that Wi-Fi antenna. And this is the power for the, the screen and HDMI for the screen. Power is actually being pulled in. This is a 12-volt screen pulled in from a 12-volt uh, SATA line, SATA power line. Straight from the motherboard. So there's only one cable you need. So I have a wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, uh, both, both uh, USB for this is inside the case on an US, internal USB hub. Keyboard is Bluetooth, so that's just running over Bluetooth. So yeah, yeah, and all I need to do to turn it off, just flip the switch, window shuts down, and it's off. This is my TechMate KH80.